to the Tink and Bobble channel. Oh, I'm rolling around on my chair here. I am Sierra. I'm the host of what is normally a knitting podcast here on YouTube, but today I have something a little bit different for you. But first, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Tink and Bobble. I will have everything linked in the description box below for you to find. Like I said, my name is Sierra. I live here in Southern Indiana with my husband, Josh, and our two cute pups, Boomer and Evie. And today is a very special video because not only is it not a podcast, but today's video is actually sponsored. What? Never thought I would be saying that. Truly never thought I would be saying that. But I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you today in collaboration with Bellish. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard of Bellish. A lot of other knitting podcasters have been collaborating with them recently. And today it is my turn to share with you my process of using their app. So today's video is kind of a project vlog films knit with me style a little bit. I had really been wanting to get into some more like project vlog type videos in addition to my regular podcasts and Bellish reached out to me right at the same time. So it was kind of perfect timing and I'm super excited to be sharing with you my process of knitting this sweater, my very first sweater in one month using the Bellish app. Also, I just want to quickly mention that this video is sponsored, but all opinions shared in this video are my own. Like I said earlier, this video is filmed mostly knit with me style, so be prepared for some really good no copyright jams. <laughs> and I will pop in and out to tell you more about Bellish and my experience using the app. All right, let's talk about Bellish. Bellish is a free iOS app coming to Android soon though, so Android users don't despair. For anyone to design their perfect knitting pattern in moments with personalized instructions. Over 300,000 unique patterns have been created since the app launched last year, but the possibilities are seriously endless. Bellish is constantly adding more content options as far as garment types like sweaters, scarves, socks, hats, and also design elements like different types of necklines and sizing, textures, color work, all that good stuff. They are even hoping to add the option to make crochet patterns here very soon. This is a little screen grab I took of a recent Bellish update. Things like this are rolling out almost every day. Here's what the Bellish app looks like when you open it. I'm just gonna click start a new design and I will show you how I designed my pattern. Okay, so on the first page here, as you can see, you can choose between all different types of patterns, sweaters, socks, hats, for adults, children, or toddlers. The toddlers includes baby sizes as well. We are obviously going to be knitting an adult size garment and I wanted to do a raglan construction. Next, you have options for the body, neck, and sleeves. I went with a cropped length for the body. And then for the neck, I went back and forth for a while between turtleneck and v-neck but as you can see there's a bunch of different options. I eventually landed on turtleneck and then I just kept the sleeves full length. I'm not a huge fan of three-quarter lengths or short sleeves. I like pulling my sleeves down over my hands so it's full length for me and then here's where you get to see a lot of what's really cool about Bellish. There are a ton of different stitch options 
as well as some color work options that you can add to both the body and the sleeves of your sweater. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, they are constantly adding to these options. Like those last two at the end were new even since I made my sweater. But for this one, since I'm on a time crunch, I'm just gonna go plain for both the body and the sleeves. Plain stockinette. Here you can see we have different options for yarn weight. They have the three most common yarn weight options. I went with worsted weight for mine since I wanted it to knit up pretty quickly. And then you move on to size. It tells you how much positive ease you should have in whatever pattern that you've made. It gives you all the measurements for all the different sizes, which is really great. On the next page, you get to play around with color. So this is really fun if you chose like a color block pattern, you can put in the different colors and see them next to each other. They have a wide range of colors. They also have a little custom color button where you can add in a hex code or something if you wanted to put in a very specific color. Now for the fun part. So we'll start with materials. You click on it and it shows you again all the measurement specs, how much positive ease, what your gauge should be, and then it gives you a huge list of all the abbreviations you might need to reference while knitting through the pattern. If you click on supplies up there at the top, it shows you your pattern, how much yarn you'll need in your weight, the needles you'll need. Okay, there are a lot of cool things about this app, but this is one of the coolest. You hit buy yarn, and it takes you to this page, Bellish Recommended Yarns, and it gives you the option to shop straight from the app from all different companies in whatever yarn weight that you need for your project. So since I chose worsted weight for this sweater, it automatically highlighted all worsted weight yarns for me, but as you can see, they have a bunch of different yarn weight options available to shop through the app. And I believe Bellish gets a little bit of kickback if you purchase your yarn through the Bellish app. Since it is a free app, this just helps to support them and I will have the yarn that I used and the colorway and everything linked in the description box below. Okay, I said now for the fun part already, but now for the really fun part. You hit generate pattern instructions and it pulls up a fully written pattern ready for you to knit straight off of the app. How stinking cool is that? Again, you can click on here and see all the details that you had before and then it goes straight into the pattern. It's super well written, very easy to follow. You just hit start knitting. Name your design. For this one, I just named it Bellish Project. And it's time to start knitting. It has this cool little highlighter. You can highlight the rows that you're on. It also has down here at the bottom, it looks like a stack of books on a bookshelf with all of your abbreviations if you ever needed to reference those again. There's also, if you click on the tally marks, a row counter. You can add multiple different ones to keep track of different things at one time. My favorite thing about the highlighter function is that you can just keep clicking down as you're following through the pattern, but then if you exit the app and come back and it takes you up to the top of the pattern, you just hit the crosshairs button and it takes you right back to the row that you left off on. There's also this little navigation menu at the bottom. And with that, all I had to do was wait for my yarn to arrive and I was ready to start knitting my very first sweater that I designed on an app in seconds. That's enough chatting for now, so I'll leave you to enjoy these clips of me knitting on my sweater. I hope that you've grabbed a whip of yours and are knitting along with me, and I'll be back in just a second.
Obviously have ends to weave in. There's like a really long end back here with a needle still on it from doing my tubular bind on. <laughs> I did it! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look, it's a full sweater. Oh my goodness, the sleeve length is perfect. 
I haven't blocked it. I literally just finished doing the bind off. And this is my first time speaking this morning, so <laughs> pardon my warning voice. But I love it. The length is perfect. My belly button's like literally right here. So when I block it, it'll go down a little bit more. I just don't like things, like my preferred crop length is like right below my belly button. It's perfect. The fit is perfect. The collar is perfect. I'll talk more about like the things that I modified in it in a second, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I knit a sweater. Yee! Y'all, I knit a sweater. Look at me go. Did you enjoy my cheesy modeling and transitions? <laughs> Here it is. Here's the finished object. I knit the collar on the same needle size as my body instead of the smaller ripping size to give it a little bit of a looser fit just so it wasn't so close to my neck. I also like how you can fold it down and it makes kind of like a boat neck turtleneck. And I bound this off with a tubular bind off to make it super stretchy. On my sleeves, I bound off using just binding off in pattern and that kept it a little bit tighter, still big enough to fit over my hand, but it made it so that the ribbing won't flare out over time. And then on the bottom hem, I did a tubular bind off as well. As you can see, this sweater is super cozy with a ton of positive ease and I just stink and love it. There you have it, my process of knitting my very first sweater in one month using Bellish. Bellish honestly made all the difference in knitting a sweater in one month. I had so much fun making this sweater and making this video for you all. I wanted to share a little bit more about my thoughts on Bellish. I personally loved the app. I think it's a super cool, unique idea to be able to put in anything that you want and it spits out a pattern for you without you having to do all of that math and all the other craziness that goes into writing a pattern that I just have no idea about. I also think it's really cool that you can buy the yarn straight from the app, like it truly does everything for you. It was super easy and intuitive to use. It honestly like took me no time to make the pattern and I found the pattern itself really simple and easy to follow. I think it's really cool that in the short amount of time that this app has been up, they've been able to offer so many different options for designs that you can create, and they are constantly adding more options, like I said earlier. I will say I don't think this app will ever replace like actual knitwear designers. There's obviously a limit to things that you can do through an app, but for something simple or just to try something new out for fun, I think this app is really amazing and you should all give it a try. If you can't tell, I filmed this intro and outro in the dark. It is very late at night, so I'm sorry if I seem tired, 
But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to be sharing more project vlogs with you in addition to my regular podcasts. Hopefully I will have a new podcast episode up for you soon. And like I mentioned earlier, you can find links on where to find me, where to find this yarn, and of course links to Bellish down in the description box below. Thank you again to Bellish for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun and I just think your app is the coolest thing ever. And I think that's it. Happy knitting. Bye. Thank you.